One of nine children in the Webb family, Glenn developed a strong work ethic and patience at a young age. You see, his father insisted that idle time was not advantageous, so Glenn and his siblings were required to spend much of their time pruning fruit trees, picking fruit, and other productive activities on the family farm. His father also taught him the importance of cooperation. Glenn left the farm to study agricultural education at the University of Illinois. He later earned his Ph.D. in education from Southern Illinois University. After college, he taught vocational agriculture for four years before rejoining his father on the farm. In 1956, Glenn married Phyllis Stout, and the two raised three beautiful children, Greg, Natalie, and Monty. True to his heritage, Glenn operates a 430-acre farm with beef and forage as its major crops, and he is a cooperative director and educator for future generations. Glenn's leadership involvement with co-ops began when he was elected to the Fruit Belt Service Company Board in 1962 at the ripe old age of 25. For more than 20 years, he served as director of this local farm supply cooperative. Cooperators throughout the region soon recognized his commitment to cooperation. In 1966, he was elected to the FS Services Board of Directors, and three years later, he became a member of the Illinois Grain Corporation Board. Over the years, he held leadership positions on both boards, always demonstrating a high level of dedication. And, in 1980, when the two organizations decided to merge into one, Glenn was a strong voice in their unification. As a result, he was elected chairman of the board and president of the new organization, Gromark. Under his leadership, Gromark has expanded to include cooperatives in several Midwest states and Canada. In fact, he has played a key role in many of the co-op's largest ventures. For example, in 1985, he was instrumental in keeping cooperative grain marketing in the Midwest through a partnership with Archer Daniels Midland Company. In 1994, he helped lead the purchase of the assets of a failing regional cooperative in Ontario, expanding Gromark's service to local cooperatives in the province. Glenn's goal has always been to benefit the member owners of the cooperatives he serves, even when it means taking a bold new approach. He is not afraid to speak his mind and fight for change if he believes that his cause is just and right. During the farm credit crisis in the 1980s, Glenn's calm and focused leadership served as a beacon to all who were involved in the fight to save the system. When many others were abandoning their cooperative lender, Glenn stepped up as a leader and advocated changes that helped restore the financial strength and vitality of the system. He took a courageous stance at a time when the financial stakes were high for members and investors. This is just one example of how Glenn is always willing to give of his time, talents and knowledge to further the principles of cooperation and help various cooperatives serve their members. His solid reputation for excellence has led to other cooperative endeavors as well. In 1978, the Farm Credit Administration appointed him to the St. Louis Farm Credit District Board, and two years later he was elected president. He served as a director of the National Cooperative Refinery Association for 15 years and has served as a co-bank director since its beginning in 1989. In fact, he served as chair of the co-bank board from 1990 to 1993. These were critical formative years for CoBank, and Glenn's steady hand and vision were a significant influence on that successful launching. Glenn has been active on other co-op boards as well, including the Farm Credit Council, VOCA, and the Farmers Export Company. He has received countless awards and honors for his outstanding leadership. But Glenn's first priority has always been promoting cooperative education and awareness. Over the years, his dedication to cooperative education has been unwavering. He teaches cooperative principles and has developed young leaders on the local, state, and national levels. He has conducted hundreds of young farmer conferences, director training programs, and other leadership development activities for youth and young farmers. In addition, he constantly travels from meeting to meeting to speak about the importance of director and member education. Since 1976, he has been a trustee of the Graduate Institute of Cooperative Leadership and has served as its chairman and vice chairman. And he is a hands-on trustee. He is instrumental in formulating the curriculum for the Institute and often participates by leading workshops. Glenn's board involvements are just too many and too varied to account for here. 
but one thing can be said for all of them. Glenn has brought to these cooperatives the values instilled in him so many years ago by his father. Dedication, hard work, and patience. Tonight, we thank Glenn Webb for devoting his time and energy to promoting cooperation and for ensuring that cooperative education remains important to us all.